Hello, and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this earnings preview. It's going to be a crucial week for stock markets with earnings releases from big tech companies. Google parent Alphabet and Microsoft report quarter two earnings on Tuesday, followed by Facebook parent Meta on Wednesday, and finally, Apple and Amazon report on Thursday. I'm Christina Marujos. With me today is lead investment analyst Raf Boyetian. Rafi, we've seen stocks taking a hit recently amid the ripple effects of inflation, higher interest rates, and the war in Ukraine. But how has the tech sector in particular fared during this tumultuous time for equity markets? Christina, there is a lot of focus on uh, what the earnings of the tech giants uh, this week uh, are going to uh, deliver, uh, because we found out from uh, some of the other big names like Netflix and Snap, who have already reported that tech firms are not immune to the growth slowdown that the major economies are experiencing right now. The big tech companies uh, led the rally on Wall Street before the pandemic, and they fueled the bull market even more following the pandemic. We even saw some of these tech uh, stocks behaving as defensive stocks during the low points of the pandemic, as they were seen as safe bets, able to weather the virus storm better than most other companies. However, we also saw valuations uh, reach exorbitant levels. So you could argue that the downtrend we're seeing now is a way overdue correction that was bound to happen. The Nasdaq has lost about 25% of its value this year, uh, with Facebook owner Meta platforms uh, being the worst performer and Apple the strongest. Having said that, it's clear that the worsening macroeconomic and geopolitical environment uh, is potentially not only prolonging the bear market, but it's also exacerbating uh, the sell-off. High inflation, rising interest rates and recession jitters have hit Wall Street hard, but we're going to be finding out this week just which of these big tech companies have been more resilient uh, in the face of weaker demand, soaring costs and ongoing supply constraints. So taking this into consideration, Rafi, what should investors look out for in the quarter two earnings releases, especially in such an economic environment where recession worries have reemerged and don't seem to be letting up? Well, the spotlight this earnings season for the tech sector is on ad revenue. Online advertising uh, is a big revenue driver for many of these firms, especially for the parent companies of Facebook and Google. Uh, Snap's warning last week that ad revenue will suffer as many companies cut back on expenses during this town downturn sparked uh, quite a bit of panic. Uh, the risk of disappointing earnings or, or guidance on the back of a slump in advertising revenue is greatest for uh, Meta platforms. It will have to demonstrate uh, what it's doing to minimize any fall in re revenue from slowing demand in the ad business and whether its investments in augmented, augmented reality are paying off. Alphabet could also take a hit from weaker ad revenue, ad revenue that its business uh, is generally more resilient though uh, because it's less affected from Apple's privacy changes that hurt uh, Facebook and it's also the dominant player uh, in the digital advertising industry. Uh, they also have more diversified uh, income. So for Alphabet, investors might be paying more attention to how their cloud computing business is doing. And this also applies for Microsoft uh, and Amazon as well. The current uh, slowdown we're seeing now will be the first real test for the cloud computing industry if it can withstand uh, a recession. It's unlikely that businesses will significantly cut back their spending on the cloud, on the cloud services provided by these tech giants. But nevertheless, it will be difficult for them to maintain uh, the impressive double digit growth that they've had for the past several quarters on the back of the boost from the pandemic. For Amazon, even if its cloud and ad units do well, its core online store business is likely to struggle though as consumers face a big squeeze from the cost of living, not to mention uh, uh, its thin profit margin coming under even more pressure. As for Apple, it's one of the few companies that can probably get away with raising prices and not see a sharp drop in sales, hence why the stock has recovered quite strongly since June. Uh, but Apple is the most susceptible to the global supply chain crisis and has been experiencing production issues uh, because of it. Uh, if Apple does report disappointing sales of iPhones, iPads and Mac computers, that would turn the spotlight on its other services like Apple Music and Apple TV and where the revenue from uh, the other divisions uh, is holding up. Rafi, it's going to be a very exciting week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for watching this earnings preview.
here at XM.com.